Hey everyone, it's Jennifer from stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com and I'm going to show you how to make this cute little scrapbook, mini scrapbook. And this is a project that we'll be making at my uh, spring fling this weekend. And so what I want to show you first is how to cut your paper. Uh, this is from the T for Two Designer Series Paper Pack. And of course it's double sided. And I love the T for Two pack. Um, you should check it out. It's awesome. Okay, so this is 12 by 12. We are going to cut four inches off. And this four, four inch piece will end up using for our um, the cover of the album. And we'll actually trim that down a little bit uh, later. And so we'll take this leftover piece, which is eight inches by 12 inches. And we're going to bring in the Simply Scored scoring tool. Um, this is Stampin' Up! Scoreboard. It's awesome. Um, when you purchase the Simply Scored scoring tool, it comes with a uh, stylus with a larger tip and a skinnier tip that pops right into place there. Um, there's a little door here that you can keep markers in. It comes with three and then you can purchase additional markers. So if you're going to be scoring repeatedly at five inches, uh, five and a fourth, whatever, you can mark that and you don't have to look at this little ruler each time. And then of course there's a ruler along the side here as well. Okay, so we're going to place our um, designer paper on the Simply Scored and score it in half. So it's eight inches, so half will be four, and I like to use the larger tip on designer paper um, so that I don't accidentally cut the paper because it's kind of thin. And then we're going to turn it and score every three inches. Three, six, and nine. And so that's how you use the Simply Scored scoring tool. It's really easy. Um, in general, you probably would be following directions from a project telling you what uh, increments to score at and of course you can turn it your project to get to the right section and the there's a ruler on the side here as well um, there are two additional um, add-ons that you can purchase for the simply scored that slide right on top here and then you can do diagonal scoring and designer scoring as well Okay, so now on this piece here, we're going to cut it. Okay, so we're going to make our cut on this center score mark. You can fold it a little bit um, if that helps you see where to cut better. And we're going to cut up to that last three inch score mark. Oops. Of course, just fix it if you uh, fold off of the score mark. Okay, so just come in. You could use your paper cutter to make a more straight cut. Actually, I'm going to cut from this side because I can see better. And I'm lazy, so I don't pull my paper cutter in for this. And it's okay if it's a little crooked. <laughs> but um, again, you can use your paper cutter if you choose. Just make your paper stay straight. Okay. So we have our cut now. Um, now we're going to fold. We're going to do some accordion folding there. And then this way. Now we have our album. Look at that. We just have to glue our pages together. So, as a reminder, what I did, let me turn it this way. I, let me turn it this way. Um, we scored, as I showed you, um, made the cut up to that score mark. And then the folding is you fold it in half and then you accordion fold each side. Okay. 
Um, and then we will go ahead and attach these two pieces together. I'm just going to put my adhesive on one side only because that's all I need. And then, you know, just pay attention that you're putting the correct pages together. That you don't glue it shut in some crazy way. And so there's some pages, and then I just need to attach these two together. Hopefully this makes sense. Of course, you can rewind and pause and get the exact sort of movements that I'm doing. Um, and I did use a design that has print and words on it, so it does go upside down. That does not bother me at all. But if it bothers you, you can just choose a design that's more... Um, you know, like this, where there's no images or words that are going to be upside down. And now I'm going to pull in this piece here that we uh, cut off at the beginning. And I'm going to cut this, trim it to a piece that is six and a half inches tall. And so, of course, on my awesome Stampin' Trimmer, pull out my little arm so I can go up to six and a half. And make my cut. Okay, this is just extra. You get to do whatever you want with later. <laughs> um, bring my Simply Scored back in, and I'm going to score this. I'm going to flip it over because that other side's going to be my front. I'm going to score at three and three and a fourth. And then this is just the cover to my album, of course, um, well, let me go ahead and glue this down to show you. I am going to put the adhesive on this piece, the actual album, only on the front, not on the binding, of course, and match these two up. And then I'll put it on this side, so the back sp uh, spine will be no adhesive and match those corners up and now I have my cute little scrapbook see it can still open and here's the finished one it's so cute and of course we're going to decorate it up into my class so that is my project for today um, I hope to see you again at stampwithjennifer.blogspot.com